Hello parents, are you wondering what you can do with simple everyday items you have lying around the house? No fancy tools or materials needed, just creativity and a couple of minutes to set up an activity. Let's dive into some hands-on fun right at home. Holding the pom-poms between fingers helps strengthen the small muscles in the hands and fingers, crucial for tasks like writing, buttoning and using scissors. Dropping the pom-poms on the instructions requires coordination between what the eyes see and how the hands respond. This activity requires careful coordination between what the eye sees and how the hand moves the fork to pick up and transfer the bangle without dropping it. Handling the fork to pick up a bangle requires a controlled grip and precise hand movements which strengthens the small muscles in the hands and fingers. The child must figure out how to balance the bangle on the fork and navigate it across the scale to the other glass. This promotes critical thinking as they solve the challenge of keeping the bangle steady. If the bangle slips or the fork wobbles, the child must quickly adapt their strategy fostering cognitive flexibility and resilience in problem solving. The task requires the child to concentrate fully on the delicate process of transferring the bangle, helping to improve their ability to focus on a single task for an extended period. The grid layout helps children develop spatial awareness by learning to place objects within specific boundaries. Following a pattern on the grid teaches children to recognize and replicate shapes, sequences and designs which is a key aspect of early math skills. Placing small pom-poms within the squares of a grid requires fine motor precision, strengthening the small muscles in the fingers and hands. This activity improves hand-eye coordination as children align their movements to correctly place the pom-poms according to the grid. If the child is following a specific pattern or color sequence, it enhances their ability to understand and follow complex instructions. Figuring out where each pom-pom should go encourages critical thinking and problem solving as the child works to replicate the pattern accurately. This activity requires children to pay close attention to detail which helps in developing concentration and focus. Once children are familiar with following a grid pattern, they can experiment with creating their own patterns or modifying existing ones. This can improve their creativity and imaginative thinking. Using pom-poms to create patterns on a grid can be an introduction to more complex art and design concepts. This activity helps improve a child's visual memory as they need to remember the arrangement of the spoons and then replicate it accurately. This strengthens their ability to recall visual information which is crucial for learning and academic success. By memorizing the pattern and holding it in their mind for a short period, children enhances their short-term memory capabilities. Recognizing and replicating patterns is a fundamental cognitive skill that lays the foundation for more complex mathematical concepts. It helps children understand sequences which are essential for problem solving and logical thinking. The child must pay close attention to the specific orientation and arrangement of the spoons which sharpens their focus and ability to notice details. Handling spoons and arranging them in a specific patterns requires precise motor skills which strengthens the small muscles in the hands and fingers. This is important for writing, drawing and other tasks that require fine motor control. The task requires a child to focus on the pattern and then replicate on it, helping to improve their ability to concentrate on a task for a longer period. If done in pairs or groups, children can collaborate discuss the patterns and work together to arrange the spoons which promotes teamwork and communication skills do give it a thumbs up if you are enjoying this video stretching and placing rubber bands around the cup requires the use of small muscles in the fingers and hands which strengthens them this is crucial for tasks like writing cutting and other fine motor activity figuring out how to stretch the rubber bands and place it on the cup without slipping off involves problem solving and critical thinking Children learn through trial and error which is an essential part of cognitive development. If the activity involves placing rubber bands in a specific sequence or pattern, it encourages pattern recognition which is a foundational math skills. The child learns about spatial relationship as they place rubber bands at different height on the cup understanding how to position objects in space. Children can get creative with how they arrange the rubber bands experimenting with different patterns, colors and placements. This encourages creativity and self-expression. If done with guidance, the activity can involve discussing the colors, sizes and placement of the rubber bands, which enhances vocabulary and descriptive language skills. This activity challenges children to remember the color and placement of pom-poms in specific shapes after the shapes are covered. 
This strengthens their visual memory which is crucial for tasks such as reading, writing and problem solving. The task engages working memory as children must hold the information in their mind while they replicate the arrangement. This is essential for tasks that require multi-step directions and mental calculations. This activity also recognizes of different shapes and colors. Identifying and recalling these elements helps build a foundation for more complex co cognitive tasks such as sorting and classifying. If the activity involves repeating a pattern of colors and shapes, it helps child recognize and understand sequences and patterns which are crucial for mathematical thinking. The child needs to focus intently on the shapes and colors before they are covered up, which enhances their ability to concentrate on a task. Remembering the exact placement of each pom-pom requires attention to detail, helping children develop a keener sense of observation. The activity teaches patience as children take the time to recall the correct placement. It also encourages perseverance, especially if they need to try multiple times to get it right. Successfully completing the task builds confidence in their abilities and reinforces a positive attitude towards learning challenge. This activity is an excellent way to engage children in a fun and challenging task that combines memory, cognitive and motor skills development. The fine motor skills developed through arranging pulses help children with everyday activities such as writing using utensils, tying shoelaces and handling small objects. Improved grip and hand control are essential for tasks like buttoning shirts, handling tools and using electronic devices. Recognizing and creating pattern is foundational for mathematical concepts such as sequencing, sorting and algebra. These skills are useful in everyday problem solving and understanding patterns in daily routines. Enhanced visual discrimination helps children differentiate between objects, organize items and follow instructions accurately. This activity requires the child to use both hands simultaneously to cover the correct color which strengthens bilateral coordination. This is crucial for activities that require the use of both sides of the body such as tying shoes or cutting with scissors. If the child has to reach across their body to place the cup, it encourages crossing the midline which is important for developing hand dominance and overall motor coordination. Handling the paper cup with precision helps develop the small muscles in the hands and fingers improving grip strength and control. This activity reinforces color recognition as the child has to identify the called out color and respond appropriately. The child must concentrate on both the verbal instruction, the color called out and the physical task covering the color with the cup, which helps improve their ability to focus on a single task for an extended period. The activity requires the child to filter out distractions and focus solely on the color cues, enhancing their selective attention. The child uses working memory to hold the color in mind while they locate it and cover it up with the cup. This strengthens their ability to retain and process information in real time. If the colors are briefly shown before being covered, the child must rely on the visual memory to recall the current location of the colors. Crushing and then flattening the paper requires the use of small muscles in the fingers and hands. This helps to develop finger strength and dexterity, which are essential for tasks like writing, buttoning clothes and using tools like scissors. Smoothing the paper back out requires controlled precise movements which improve hand control and coordination. This activity engages both hands simultaneously promoting bilateral coordination. This skill is important for activities that require the use of both hands together such as tying shoelaces or opening containers. The child learns to coordinate movements between both hands ensuring they work together efficiently. The texture and the crumpled paper provides a rich sensory experience. This helps children become more aware of different textures and how they respond to touch. Handling popsicle sticks and manipulating bottle caps requires fine motor skills which help strengthen the small muscles in the fingers and hands. This is crucial for activities like writing, drawing and using utensils. The child needs to carefully use the popsicle sticks to remove the caps which improves their precise and hand control. The child must figure out how to use the popsicle sticks effectively to remove the bottle caps which involves problem solving and critical thinking. The activity encourages trial and error as the child learns how much pressure to apply and how to position the popsicle sticks to successfully remove the cap. If you found this video helpful, please like it, share it with other parents and subscribe to my channel for more fun and educational content. 
I would love to hear from you so drop a comment below and let me know what activities you would like to see next. If you enjoyed this activity and want more don't forget to follow me on Instagram for 21 days of free brain gym activity printable perfect for keeping your little ones engaged at home. Thank you for watching. See you next time.